If you receive a mickle peg that has one of our brackets and it has a lock nut on the back, I want to explain how to preload the spring if you need to take it apart and switch to a heavier peg or, or need to clean it out and re-grease it. The lock nut on the back is really not so much to lock it in place as it is to provide additional threads because the bracket is so thin right where the bolt goes through. So if you need to take it apart, I just hold the lock nut with a wrench, unscrew the 3 16 Allen wrench from the front, and once the nut comes off and runs around the garage floor, the roll pins hold the cover in place, the spring is under the cover, it's under tension, so you want to make sure that the, the cover and spring don't also run across the garage floor. I'm kind of holding it with my fingers here and I'm going to pry it off. You notice the cover turned a little bit. Now you, on your mickle peg, you may have one, two, or three holes for the spring. This particular model comes with three different positions for the spring. There's one here, one in the center, one over there. Might be hard to see with the grease in it. The cover has the spring sticking out. Take the exposed end of the spring, and your instructions say place it in the hole that gives the least amount of preload tension for the peg that you're going to be placing on it. And looking at this spring, when you put your foot down, this spring is going to be moving this way. So if I put it through the hole that's way up here that has already moved the peg away so that's going to provide the least amount of preload tension if I move it up here to this hole that's going to provide the most preload tension because I will have made the spring work to get to the position here so on this one I'm going to put it in the least preload in the least preload with the bolt through the cover your cover will look kind of like a diamond on the leg if you put it in the hole that gives the most preload tension the cover is going to sit kind of square with regard to the leg again this is, gives the most preload Putting it up, rotating it around, putting the spring in the other hole, that's the least preload tension. Now you notice it's very thin here where the bolt goes through, and that's the purpose of the lock nut that ran across the floor earlier. It's a little bit easier to do on your bike. So you want to get the bolt started. And you can screw it in until the cover touches the roll pins. Back it off a little bit. Then I'm going to find that nut. Gotcha. Put the nut on the back. Before you do much tightening with that bolt, you want to have the lock nut on there. Bring it right up to the surface of the bracket. Hold that in place. Now to preload the spring, that's letting the leg fall down. Rotate the cover enough to lift the leg. A little bit more to square the cover and then push in on it. The roll pins hold it in place. Give it a couple of turns. Hold the lock nut so it's tight against the back of the bracket. Snug up that bolt. 
if you give it a little bit too much tightening, I'll show you what happens. You get a little bit of binding. And now it's a little sticky. Doesn't want to come up all the way. So you just back it off a little bit. Keeping that nut against the back side of the bracket. And you're ready to go.